So <clears throat> I want to talk about something that I was speaking about yesterday to my sister and my mother. And it's about the whole manifestation and uh, being in your vibratory uh, field. And the way it works basically is uh, for the most of us, or at least me in my past, I would always look into the future of who I wanted to be and how I wanted things to be and what I wanted to experience in the future. But what we know now is that there's only one moment and that moment is right now. So in that moment, which is only right now, if I continue to think and feel that the future is when I'm gonna be happy, it's never gonna get here because there is no future, there's only now. So what I create in the now moment is a waiting for the future. And that will be my experience forever is to be continuously waiting for the future to come into the now moment. But again, the now moment is all there ever is. So I create the experience of waiting for something to come that never will because that's my experience is one of waiting. And when we think and we focus on our past or past memories, what we're doing is we are... Um, aligning with our vibra vibration of the past, which is going to simultaneously create an environment that is based off of the past. You know, our brain goes to the past. Our brain works in memory. Our brain works in fear. Oh, don't step that way, because last time you stepped that way, that happened, so don't do that. So there, when I'm thinking in the past, I'm, again, preventing myself for, from experiencing the best possible um, uh, potential of experience, the, uh, the best potential for the most desired experience that I prefer. So what we need to do, and I say this um, like it's common knowledge, and it's not common knowledge. It's only common knowledge around the people that I know that know this, so it's not common knowledge. Um, be in it now. Be now, be now. The future version of me, the future version of me who is um, doing what I want to do, experiencing what I want to experience, I'm waiting for that to happen to feel that feeling that it would give me. But if I just feel it now, if I vibrate at the frequency that I feel I will be or that I am in that moment, the universe will match that and um, be, be who you want to be and it will be a reflection. The story you tell yourself and you believe is a reflection of what you're gonna get back. So just to recap really quick, I see myself, I am a artist, I am a successful artist, I am a spiritual, successful, wealthy artist. That's how I see myself and I'm being in that frequency and by being in that frequency, that's what's going to come in my reality. If I sit here and I'm like, man, I have no money in my bank account, I'm focused on the lack of money in my bank account and that's what I'm vibrating at, so therefore my experiences are gonna continuously be lack of money, lack of love, lack of friendship, lack of whatever. So instead of being in the lack of what you want, be in the abundance of what you desire be that frequency. That frequency will be matched. It's the law of the universe. It's how it works. What you vibrate at vibrates back to you in experience. Because that's what we're here for, is experience. Um, I may, not, may or may not post this. We'll see how brave I get today. I'll see you on live.